guys, it's me, Vanessa. I wanna make a video for my week of, it's 112 post-op VSG surgery. My very highest weight was back in January of 2014 at 280 pounds. I weighed in um, surgery day on March 13th of 2017 for vertical sleeve gastrectomy at 235.2 pounds. And as of this morning, I was up to 153.8, which is a gain this week of one pound. Um, but I still have a loss of 81.4 since surgery and a total loss of 126.2 um, since my highest weight. I am noticing through this whole process of changing pretty much my whole activity, because uh, right now I'm currently training for a half marathon and I'm also doing 80 day obsession, which I started phase three last week. Um, so because I have bumped up my, my, I guess you could say activity, I've also increased my hunger. And so I am settling right at that 150 to 155 range. Um, and I keep going back and forth um, but I'm still within that range. Uh, my overall goal, of course, is to always get below 150 um, because I noticed that's when I felt my best um, and that's when I have to eat the cleanest. So I'm trying to also get down, um, but I'm not gonna stress about it because I am doing something completely different and my body is freaking out, doesn't know what's going on, um, and I'm just being patient. I'm being very patient with the process. I'm putting uh, fitness first um, and health, of course, and then weight loss kind of on the back burner until I do this half marathon. And so that is pretty much my goal. That's why things are kind of like settling uh, where they are and I have to be okay with it. It's, it's hard for me to be okay with it, but I have to um, because I have to, of course, feed my body the nutrition it needs to get me through my runs now. Uh, this week I run my very highest amount, which will be six and a half miles. Um, so I do that on Saturday and I'm, I'm a little nervous, um, but I know two weeks ago I ran five miles, no issues. So I know I can do it and I've run a 10 K before, so it's just a little over a 10 K. So it's no big deal. I've got this. I do. Um, I am noticing though, like I said, hunger, hunger has been something that has increased, uh, drastically, uh, compared to when I was only working out 20 to 30 minutes a day. Now I'm pretty much working out over an hour, uh, six days a week. And so I can tell a huge difference. Um, I am still during the week eating really healthy. I noticed like midweek, I get close to 150. So like last week I was at 150.6 on Wednesday. And so I know that my body is going down when I'm eating really, really clean and healthy. It's the weekends where I, don't care about how much sodium I'm taking in um, and what type of foods that I'm eating. And so that's where I see the rise is after the weekend and then midweek I see a huge drop. So I have to find, and I'm still trying to find that balance in between um, the week and the weekends and trying to level it out to where I'm pretty much steady in my weight and not dropping so high or low. And so that's, I'm, I'm tr trying to figure all this out. And it's going, it's going okay. Um, I do wanna to talk today about what weight loss surgery has done for me, um, why I chose to have weight loss surgery. So if you watch like my very first video on why I decided to have surgery, it's pretty much the same type of thing. Um, so I am a recovering binge eater. I have struggled with binge eating my entire life. It's something that would always self-sabotage me. So I would do really well on a diet for a few weeks and I would drop a lot of weight and I would do really well. And then like I would go through binges and then I would regain the weight that I had lost. And so my, my goal was, you know, once I got weight loss surgery, I would learn or relearn um, how to eat and I would work on not, not binging. And so this whole surgery has really helped with that control that I, that I finally have gotten. Um, I used to struggle. I used to struggle with food. I would literally go through a full pack of cheese. I've told you guys many times, 11 or 12 slices in one day, I would go through all that cheese. Um, a whole bag of cookies or a whole bag of chips within a day, um, a whole box of Cheez-Its. You know, um, I would have like two or three Cokes in a day. It's those little things that I would just, it would all add up. And so I was 
pretty much doing really well during the week and then the weekends would be my like binge days you know where I would just eat just everything in sight and I felt like this food was going to disappear or I couldn't have it later and so that's why I would binge on it um, so the surgery has allowed me it's forced me uh, to change my way of eating for life and to figure out or to finally learn um, that balance that you know this food is not going to disappear I will be able to have another cookie I'll be able to know, have another piece of uh, cake or have some chips later I don't need it all the time and this is kind of like how I've learned um, a good example right so every time that I used to go to a restaurant I would order an appetizer and I would eat that appetizer there I would order a meal and I would have like a few bites of my meal and I would pack it away and then I would always have a dessert for myself like I would always have a full dessert and I'm talking about restaurant desserts not like a little slice of something I mean I'm talking about an actual dessert that they serve at a restaurant and so that was that was my mentality that is what I had to have and then when I got home I would finish that meal that I didn't eat when I was at the restaurant well now when I go out to eat the surgery has really changed things where now when I go out I will have my main course and I will either cut it in half or I'll share it with someone um, and I'll still cut it in half and share uh, but I'll never have like the full amount uh, when I go to a fast food restaurant I don't get the sandwich with the fries and then the dessert and then the large coke I'll usually get a burger and then I will grab a few fries from like a family member uh, or I will get like when I went to Popeyes I went to go get a biscuit just just one biscuit and then a regular side of mac and cheese from Popeyes and that's what I ate I didn't buy a drink I didn't get dessert um, I just stuck with those sides uh, usually when I order breakfast I will have like one of those sausage biscuits breakfast from like I'll say Burger King because that's the only one I can think of right now um, I will order that and then have a few uh, tater tots from you know a family member and so it's those type of things that I've learned you know I don't need to have like a huge huge amount of food all in one sitting uh, and the surgery has really forced me to do that but it also has allowed me to finally feel satisfied with a smaller amount of food and that's the one thing I love about this this surgery is that you know I'm now happy with a cup or two of food and that's it and then I'm good and I don't need any more but I also keep in mind that an hour later yes I will get hungry again so I have to make sure that for one I add any type of vegetables to my meals I have to bulk them up with veggies because that will keep me satisfied longer because um, of the fiber and then I add like a healthy carbohydrate and then a protein and so when I think of meals I think of more balance over just having whatever I want now know that I do have and enjoy foods that are not the best every once in a while but majority of the time I am eating healthy and just the surgery has helped me it has helped me to structure my food uh, my mindset uh, just in general hunger it's really helped with that and I'm so grateful that I had the surgery this is something that you know has really helped me because when I was at when I was at my highest right at 280 pounds the lowest that I was ever able to get was down to 230 and I could never stay below 230 and I would hover between like one uh, 240 to it, it would go back and forth like 230 to 240 and I would be able to maintain that but I could never get below 230 uh, 225 I got two different times but it was never long enough to say that I was 225 but with the surgery it allowed me to change my set point so my set point was never um, it was it's no longer 230 pounds my set point is 155 and what I mean by set point is when I let's say eat clean right for the week and I'm at a deficit and I drop a few pounds right that hunger that comes back and I get hungry and I eat whatever I want and and I, I do whatever I want as far as food right and then you know that point where you've got you're no longer hungry 
and you're full, you're, you're, you're like right in between, that is pretty much when I settle with my weight between 150 and 155. And 155 is when I feel like I've eaten too much and I'm really full and I don't want food anymore. Like food is no longer an interest to me and I feel like my body needs to get back to healthy eating. It's always when I get a little uh, under 155. And so it's very important that through the rest of this process of maintaining that I stick to that, that I don't allow myself to get over 155 ever again. There was one time where I got up to 158, almost 159. Well, I think I did even get up to 159. Got up to 159, did not get to 160, and I was like, put on the brakes, I need to get back on track and really focus and get down below um, 155 because I never want to be above 160 because I know that's a slippery slope. Once I get to 160, then I want to get to 170 and then so on and so on. And I don't want to do that. I want to make my body used to 150 to 155 and stay here for the rest of my life uh, because I do feel good. I feel great actually. Um, yes, I would like to get, like I always say, under 150, but that is a, that's like a long-term goal. That's something that, you know, yes, I want to keep that in mind, but it's not the most important thing. Uh, my most important thing is to maintain the weight that I have right now um, because I do feel good. And to feel good in my skin, that's, that's really what I want to do. And I feel great. I, I love the way I feel as far as um, comfort in my clothing. I can pretty much still wear just anything. I, I, I just love it, you know. I'm in a size 6 medium and some smalls I can wear and some larges depending on when the, the clothing was made. Uh, I noticed further out, uh, like in the early 2000s, I'm like in a large um, or a size 10. So it's no big deal. Sizes, you really can't go by sizes because sizes are so inconsistent. Um, but I just know that the clothing that I wear, I can still wear comfortably. Um, I don't feel fat anymore. and. That's weird to say, I don't feel fat. I feel strong, I feel healthy, I feel amazing. Um, so this surgery, this surgery has been a godsend. I am so happy that I got this surgery. It's one of those things where without the surgery, I know that I would not be where I am today, um, especially within two years. You know, two years of a process, I lost 85 pounds and have maintained it for over a year. That is a huge deal. And by myself, you know, Many people say just diet and exercise. Some people just can't do that and I was one of them and I needed the surgery and the surgery has helped me greatly. And so if ever you're thinking about getting it, um, do your research definitely. Uh, I, I chose a sleeve over the back bypass because I didn't want to mess with um, any type of malabsorption. Um, right now I no longer have to take vitamins. My surgeon okayed it said that you know, you're eating adequate amount of food, you're getting your vitamins from your food, um, and I still use Shakeology, so I'm getting vitamins through that. So there's no point in me taking more vitamins. Um, I do still take calcium twice a day. I take um, one in the morning and one at night, um, but everything else, I'm not taking any supplements. I'm no longer taking biotin, um, so I feel, I feel great. And I'm eating healthy, I'm able to eat a range between like 1400 calories to 1600. That's when my normal is. Um, I can sometimes go up to 2000, um, but it's never like three or 4,000 like before. Like my eating is so much more controlled than it was in the past uh, before the surgery. So I just wanted to share this for those who are on the fence about surgery. It's something that has definitely changed my life. And it's changed the way I look at food. You know, I no longer fear food. And I do say that you need to do more research as far as like mindset because the surgery does not fix your brain. It only fixes your stomach. Uh, hunger will come back. It will return after the surgery. So you need to also work on your relationship with food and emotions and, and everything that plays into being obese. So that is very important with this and that is what I've taken advantage of. I have done personal development. I've learned what my body needs and what it doesn't. I've learned triggers um, as far as binging, like what will trigger a binge? 
uh, and I work with that. You know, I'm constantly a work in progress. I'm always learning, always learning new things. A lot of it's trial and error. You know, you learn things by mistakes that you make and then you no longer make those mistakes. And so that's the most important thing about this journey. But like, if, like I said, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to contact me anytime. I will answer. Um, you can even comment below uh, anything that you would like to know that I can make in future videos. Um, but I will see you all next week. Have an amazing week. Happy Mother's Day to all those moms out there for next Sunday. And you guys take care. Bye for now.